Where my champions at? Where my champions? Dim the lights just to recreate the ambience. I'm about to murder the stage, call an ambulance. Moment of silence, my condolences. I'm going crazy, I don't think that I can hold it in. I pray to God to forgive me for my life of sin. I'm jumping in even if I don't. One of those days where you have a really good sleep. One of those days. Morning, guys. Another day of warming up on the treadmill before I go and have a hard workout because it is freezing cold this morning and it's been pouring down rain here on this Wednesday so I'm like gotta get on the treadmill gotta warm up before I go and hit up the uh, workout of the mornings to get it out of the way go on beanie on for the first time looking a little bit different um, yesterday I worked until 8 o'clock so I kept it pretty busy and just didn't decide to do a video log you guys are gonna see someone new training today and at the moment, I'm reading a book, uh, listening to a book called Sapiens. It's all about, um, well, kind of like, you know, the evolution of humans. So that's pretty cool, a little bit of learning on that. And today's gonna be, I get to interview the commando. So I'm pretty excited to do that later on. So that's the update so far, and I'll keep you guys posted. Like I said, guys, it is a cold, wet day out here today. It is crazy, I'm freezing. I wanna get home, I wanna get something to eat. I just wanna. Yeah, I want to chill at home today. It's pretty annoying though, because I can't get my vitamin D, but yesterday I actually picked up some vitamin D spray that you spray orally. So that was interesting to actually have a look at. I've never tried it before, and I thought, you know what? Let's try something else. My new doctor actually gave me this new stuff for my gut health too, to see how it goes. Um, it's called Iburagast, I think, and it's more for helping with digestion to help the stomach relax, because lately I've been having a little bit of digestion issues since I've been eating so much food, and I'm just going to see how this goes anyways. Uh, it was... Uh, it wasn't the best workout today, I'm going to be honest with you. The whole hour was just a fucking grind. But I got through it because I'm like, you know what? I'm going to feel better. And when you think, like, like the thing is, things are going to be a grind, right? Think about the benefit. What are you going to achieve after that? Like, for me, I was thinking about, man, as soon as I finish this workout, it's going to help me with growing my muscles. It's going to help me look better. And I just started, like, you know, even though it was still a grind the whole time, the whole hour was just a tough workout. Man, this rain, far out. Even though the hour was just a whole tough workout, I still got through it. I still like just kept pushing through, and then I was like, oh, there were so many times where I'm like, no, I'm gonna go lighter, or I'm gonna do this, and I'm like, no, fuck this, I'm gonna keep pushing, I'm gonna keep pushing. And you just need to remember, think about the big long-term outcome. The day you don't wanna do cardio, think about how good you're gonna feel when you have that body, when you're gonna feel confident with your shirt off. Think about, for me, when I gain muscle, how confident am I gonna feel when I'm standing there and not being so intimidated next to bigger guys. And so you've always got to have that future vision because the grind is always going to be there. The grind is always got to be hard. But if you have that future vision in your head, it's going to be so much more easier. I promise you that. Um, apart from that, I am on the home on the way home now. I've organized a call with one of my clients, Max, who's the, uh, the TV actor. So I'm going to have a chat with him since it's been a while just to kind of check in and see what's been going on with him and just do a bit of an update for my new program since he's gonna help me out with the new program too. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna get out of this rain. I'm going to do some stuff and I'll keep you guys updated. My walk is gonna be on the treadmill today instead of going out in the park because this is just, this is just dreary. Just don't even, not even happening right now. All right, speak news later. It is wet, it is cold, it is crazy storming. And I just finished interviewing. Actually, I just finished coming back from speaking to some businesses about personal training. But I just finished interviewing um, the commando. And as soon as I finished interviewing him, my computer stuffed up. It just completely froze. And I was like, holy shit, like, what am I supposed to do? And so I started stressing out. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Like, you know, that was like, you know, getting the commando on took a lot of time and energy to try and get him on. And then once I've had it, and then this happened, and I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. And so I was like, do I just turn off my computer? Because it's just frozen. Like, my Mac just froze, and I was like, what do I do? Do I turn off my computer? So I kind of sat around for a bit, and I was like stressing out. And I was like, no, nah, I'm just going to turn it off. I'm going to hope for the best. But I didn't. I decided to go out and do this stuff. Came back, and luckily, it saved it. The computer's still going slow. I've got to restart it. But I'm just like, thank freaking God. I'm sorry, I'm trying to log in now. Thank God, because I was just like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him back on my podcast. And I was just like stressing out so much. So at the end of the day, when things come up, guys, 
always have a backup or a plan B. I do not have a plan B for this one. Well, actually, my plan B is what caused it to start off in the first place because my plan B was um, to use uh, uh, an audio recording software instead of just my usual Skype. And that's kind of what stuffed it up. Then I went out, I went and spoke to some businesses. I've come back and I realized I didn't have my keys. So then I had to jump over this wet fence. I really just kind of stuffed my wrist, which really hurts now. But man, what a day. Either way, I've turned it to a good day. I've done everything I wanted. So it's a win for the day. I'm happy with that. And that's it. The rest of the day, I'm just going to um, chill before I go back to work. Man, this water, this storm here is hectic. Like it is crazy out there at the moment. So I don't actually know how I'm going to get to work. I mean, I've got to ride my push bike, but it's just nuts. Anyways, guys, I don't think I'm going to check in tonight. I might not. If not, don't forget to like and subscribe, or I'll keep you updated soon.